flight to your Neighbours Assembly for the class of 2023. It really is lovely to see you all back in school. Last exam just finished yesterday, believe it or not. Um, and it's great to have your presence with your parents, friends and family this afternoon. We really are delighted to see you all back. Um, it's been a privilege to get to know you. Um, it's been a privilege to be your head of the year. It's been a challenge, dare I say it at times, leading and working with such an eclectic group of young adults. But I just want you to know one thing, that every conversation that has been had with you, by myself, by any other member of staff, has always had your best interest at heart. To push you, to achieve your best, and make you the best version of you that you could be. You have worked hard to reach this stage, so well done to each and every one of you, and I hope the next stage of your journey is filled with excitement. As head of upper school, I get to work alongside a fantastic group of pastoral leaders, and I know each of our students have valued and appreciated all the support and guidance along the way but also the very difficult and personal challenges that some of you have faced since you joined our sixth form. You've also had an amazing team of A-level teachers and support staff who have always set high expectations of you all and for whom I know each of you are very thankful. Mrs Bennett will later recall her personal highlights from the last two years as assistant head of sixth form. So for now, I just thought I would leave you with some pieces of advice. And that's all I would say today. Um, first written by a famous Irish musician, I have tweaked them and I have called them my six thoughts for sixth form. So number one, and I thought these resonated really clearly with our college values. Number one is to trust yourself. Trust your own instincts. You will know when something whether it's an act or a word, is wrong. And you will also know when it is right. Number two, being a friend is hard. Being a good friend is even harder. It's not a chore, but it's something that you have to work on. It might be difficult to imagine now, but when some of you have, some of you have not yet met your best friend. Number three, there will always be people who tell you you're not smart enough, strong enough, talented enough, and that you can't do that thing that you really so deeply want to do. Avoid these people, because there are going to be people who tell you, you can be anything you want to be. And I would listen to those people. Number four, kindness one of our core values. Be kind. Accept one another. Stand up for others. Celebrate those who might be different, seem different. Not just celebrate them, but listen to them. Learn from them. Fight for causes that you believe in, your planet, your community, your values. And it's okay to be angry at injustice, but perhaps start with an act kindness. Number five, the sound of laughing with someone is so very different than the sound of laughing at someone. And finally, it goes without saying that you probably all believe that you already know so much more than your parents, but they love you more than you will ever know and they will always tell you the truth and give you wise and honest advice. So please, listen to your parents. That's my six thoughts for sixth form. I want to say congratulations to the class of 23 and wish each of you well um, as you go out into the big, bad and exciting world. Thank you. Thanks for the good things established college.
Village. We thank you for the people, friends, staff and parents who have invested in our lives. We thank you that you have learned the value of friendship in the playground and in the classroom. We thank you for our school and the special community that makes Lemish College so dear to us. Thank you for all we have learned here. Thank you for work well done and tasks completed. Thank you for the encouragement we've received and for the people around us who believe in us. Thank you, Lord, for being present with me at Slemish. Thank you for being with me in every encounter and in every opportunity to encourage and support. Thank you for burden shared and understanding given. Thank you for all the celebrations we've enjoyed. Thank you for how you have used our school to shape us and grow us into the people you have designed us to be. In this moment of silence, I thank you for some of the people you have particularly blessed me with at Slamish College. For everyone and everything, Lord, I thank you. It is time to move on, Lord, and I thank you that you go with me. I have nothing to fear. I put to rest any concerns and I trust in your wisdom. As you have brought me here, I know you will take me onwards. Lord, bless us as we leave and bless our Spanish college. We ask the priest, the peace of your continued presence for what the future holds. May the protection you give us at the end of this chapter be with us and our loved ones all the days of our lives. Amen. <clears throat> Class of 2023, you started your sixth form journey in Slamish College on Friday the 27th of August 2021. And I'm not sure if you remember, but our theme for that year for your induction was the Olympics. Because you'd returned to school just after the 2020 Olympics had finally taken place, a full year after schedule. The first time in the history of the Olympic Games that the Games had been postponed. And as young people, you have lived through a lot of first time in history moments, many more than any of us would have ever anticipated. And we held our own mini Olympics as you competed with hula hoops, back to back squats in groups of four, side to side jumps and some dodgy synchronised swimming. And for all of us there, there was a sense of relief and excitement to be able to be together as a group and have fun. A return to some sort of normality was welcomed with enthusiasm. Now the novelty factor perhaps didn't last for all of us, and there may even, even have been times over the last two years that many of you, or indeed certainly your teachers, hoped for a schooled out directive, a mini pause from the pressure of sixth form study, or indeed at times recently a return to CDGs uh, as the fear of sitting external exams seemed more intense as you had missed out on your GCSEs. But it was great this year to see things returning to normal. Suddenly, the opportunity to go to the shop at lunchtime seemed a massive perk. Although we did have a few chance visits to McDonald's, Tesco's and Jake's appearance in form class with a full KFC bucket was of epic proportions. Two real highlights this year for me were Cora Mila and the school formal. The formal was a huge success and a special thanks to Mrs Smith for all her work in designing tickets, checking payments, numbers, amongst other things, and to Lucinda for her decorations on the night. Ethan deserves a special mention in terms of sorting and providing so much of the decorations and details. The glamour and sophistication were undoubtable, but it was a strong sense of community and friendship within your year group that marked this occasion as being so special. The second highlight for me of Coramila is always a bittersweet time. This year it felt especially significant, a 
as you'd missed out on your full residential in year, year 13. So it was great to have everyone together and see once again such a sense of sixth form community. Thankfully, we have such reliable and responsible students that we had no fear as we let them have an hour to themselves that there be any sticking off for pints of Guinness in the Valley Council. So that uh, always, always good for us. And as I look back on the photos and videos of the games we played, I still laugh out loud at certain moments. Rebecca, your competitiveness in getting your team through a full hoop in record time. The red, blue, green game. Uh, sorry, uh, must get a special mention. A game that was built on honesty and trust. A game with no real winners. A concept that was lost to our young people. <laughs> Sending Tierna out as a sacrificial lamb to the slaughter. Ethan, your darker side fully came into play. Even Lucinda and Laura's Find Me game provoked a similar cutthroat cut edge as teams fought to be the first back with a random object. Thank goodness for the karaoke, which saw everybody coming together and singing in unison, with Mr. Godwin in his element and Max centre stage joining in the fun. You are undoubtedly a year group full of fun and competitiveness, both good qualities to take forward in life. Don't lose your sense of fun or your determination at times when things get hard. You're a year group that has taught me a lot, and I have been so impressed with your resilience at times when you've experienced difficulties. Many of you have had your own personal challenges over the past two years, and it has been humbling to see how you've navigated these. Remember the importance of not facing these on your own. Life can and will throw lots of curveballs but surrounded by friends, family and people you can trust, you will get through those times. To our college student leadership team, a special word. You have been incredible ambassadors for our college. After COVID paused so many competitions, our strong team of house captains this year reignited that fierce rivalry between the houses. And even though, inevitably, Ultan will win, it was great to see that competition reinforced. In the Student Council, Daniel and Aiding, you have shown a passion, drive and commitment to ensuring that the student voice is heard and helps shape the direction of our college. As Deputy Head Girl, Naomi, you have led with humility and quiet determination, while Ethan you have shown an enthusiasm and dependability in getting involved with so many different events throughout the year. Aaron, a real highlight um, in your time as head boy, has to be on the college open nights when you entertained the queues of P7 students and parents waiting to get into a particularly busy hall. Your initiative and creativity are commendable. And Tierna, no, she's not here at the minute, but as head girl, she's someone who's led with a kindness and modesty, balancing in her many duties a strong work ethic, high expectations and integrity in all that she has done. As a group, you have taught me a lot about what it is to be a great leader. So class of 2023, it's been a pleasure and a privilege to be your assistant head of year and a form tutor to 14 KB. As you leave Slamage, I would encourage you to be young people of hope. Shimasini said, hope is not optimism, which expects things to work out well, but something rooted in the conviction that there is good worth looking for. I always believe that there is good worth looking for, and as I look around here, I can see so much of that here today. I wish you well in whatever path you take moving forward. Keep moving forward. But I hope that you look back on your time in Slamish with fondness and positivity and that you hold on to the friendships you have forged here. Take care and every blessing for the future.
strange to be saying goodbye to Summer College and even stranger to be doing so through a screen but I'm in Canada so um, unfortunately I will not be able to be with you all today. For those of you who have heard my speeches before you will know that I love throwing in a quote so I felt like it would be fitting to conclude my head girl journey, head girl duties quoting Dr Seuss. Today you are you, that is truer than true, there is no one alive who is you than you. Simish core values of kindness, resilience, high expectations, integrity and creativity have been instilled in us from a young age and have equipped us to enter the world as mature individuals. Simply, they have made you, you. Over the past seven years, Simish has been our home. From timid 11 year olds to what I now believe to be an amazing group of resilient, caring and hopeful young people, Simish has moulded us into who we are through every high and low, every challenge and success. What a gift it is to say that we have been Slama students. That does not change when we leave this building today. It will stay with us throughout our lives as we are continually reminded of lessons we have been taught here. Life is a continuous journey and I am so thankful that I've spent several years of my journey here and I'm sure you guys are too. To the leadership team, all of you have grown so much this year. Thank you for always supporting each other and treating each other with respect. To our incredible team of staff and teachers, I can confidently say on behalf of all Upper Six, thank you for going above and beyond the curriculum, teaching us not just about equations, how rocks are formed or how to analyse a metaphor, as much as we love all of this, but how to treat people with kindness, listen to people who are different from us and learn from our mistakes. This is a gift more valuable than any knowledge from a textbook. As we take off our blazers for the final time, I hope that you continue to carry respect, understanding and truth with you wherever life takes you. Closing with a quote from the boy, the mole, the fox and the horse. Always remember you matter, you're important and you're loved and you bring to this world things no one else can. Thank you and God bless. So over the last few days I've struggled with the thought of finality. Thinking about how our seven years spent making memories is just going to stop. 
And because of this, I find myself just living in the memories. The musical evenings, like, you know, the Christmas and the spring ones, they're fun. Um, miss Murray having a go at me because I missed choir for the sixth week in a row. The time I drank five litres of water in physics. The time I threw up five litres of water in physics. <laughs> Um, playing to all the lovely people who came to see uh, our school at the open evening uh, because that was fun. That was something we'd never really done before. This Mr. Bennett came in to me and he went, Oh, I'll go play for them. I'm like, okay, just for you. <laughs> and one of my favourite memories, Cornelia, our last outing as a year group. And I just want to thank all the wonderful staff who made that possible. Mr. Bennett, Miss Mitchell, Mr. Weir, Miss Bennett, our wonderful form teacher, and our music teachers, Miss Mary, Miss Armstrong, and Miss McAlvey. Thank you so much for all you've given us over the, for our time together. It's really meant the world to all of us. And I realize it can be quite sad all this time, seven years, gone in a moment, lost just like that. But then I think of a quote by Ellen Montgomery. Nothing is ever really lost to us as long as we remember it. And how could we ever forget a place like this? A place where we've laughed, cried, a place where we've made our closest friends and maybe a few enemies along the way. But most importantly, it's a place where we've always had each other. But now our time together has come to an end and we all need to live our own lives. But that doesn't mean we have to lose the friend we made along the way. I just want to take a minute and share my thanks to all of you for allowing me to be your head boy this year. And I want to thank the brilliant leadership team I work closely with, Tierna, Naomi, Ethan, Aiden, and Daniel. You've all put in so much hard work this year and I really appreciate it. Everybody does. And if I could also say a thank you to our wonderful forum teachers, Miss Bennett, Miss Murda, Miss Godwin, Miss Mulligan. Seeing our faces every day and chasing us for notes and letters couldn't have been easy. And there are two very wonderful ladies that we'd also like to thank. And we are, I feel like we are all indebted to. Miss Cook, our careers advisor, always pushing us to make sure we have the best possible guidance and opportunities available. Also, fun fact, the only person to come up to me and say, come on, the alarm ones. <laughs> when I saw <laughs> and uh, our wonderful study supervisor, Miss Smith, who became anything we needed her to be, a life coach, a uh, financial consultant, but most importantly, a friendly face that we could all come into. Thank you all so much for everything that you've given to us over our time together. It means more than anything we could ever express. I'd like now for our foreign teachers to come up alongside Miss Smith, Miss Cook, and our resident LSA, Mr. Eamons, to accept a small gift from all of us for your support. Okay, happy to come up. <laughs> change for all of us. No uniform, no refectory, no Mr. Bennett penguin speeches. <laughs> but there's one thing I would like to challenge you all with. Never let it be that you don't have each other. Make sure you stay in touch and not only that, but stay close. So if there's ever a bad day, you know it can never truly be that bad because we all have each other. And it can be scary a new start, but I know that we'll all find our own way and maybe someday back to each other. I would like to finish my head boy duties with a quote from a TV show of all things as well. <laughs> it's from a TV show called The Good Place, which I feel is relevant to our time spent together. Picture a wave in the ocean. You can see it. Measure it, its height, the way the sunlight refracts through it. And it's there, you can see it, and you know what it is, it's a wave. And then it crashes on the shore. And it's gone. But the water is still there. The wave was just a different way for the water to be. 
for a little while. The wave returns to the ocean, where it came from and where it's meant to be. Thank you and best wishes to all of you as we leave Standard College.
So we're going to do that with the form teachers. So if we start with Miss um, Mulligan form class.
that didn't work. The only way mom is this thing good. Say! Alright, okay. Good ideas. Come on, let's go. This is a Let's go, let's go. Good ideas. Chips. Um, Gilmore Girls. Power <laughs> Rangers. Um, what was the type then? What do you do with your. What do you watch? Just watch TV. TV. Okay, TV. Shows. Bring a bad didn't work. What about The Office? Your footing are actually incredible artists. It is so fun coming to work every single day and work with students that are just really artistic. They have that natural flair. <laughs>
So, Mr. Weir asked me to sing for you, um, and that was difficult because I had to try and write a new song, and I can't write songs if you've heard them, so apologies. Also, I promised my friends I would do this one last time while I'm up here, just so you know the fire exits are located here, here, and at the back, just in case of emergency. Yeah. 
which is a, is a magic moment. We're on the roundabout, which is, that's quite a class thing, so we're going to plant a tree on the roundabout. So if the students, um, we'll head out back there and have a sort of symbolic photograph on the roundabout with the tree. Uh, and uh, then the food is being served over in the factory, which is, do you want to head out that door and head to the right? Um, yeah? Is that all good? Thank you folks, and lovely to see you. Cheers.